I want to show you uh, these two new features that they added to QuickBooks Online Plus in October of 2015. Uh, first, you have to make sure that you are on QuickBooks Online Plus, which you can do that by clicking on the gear icon and then your account. And then when you click on gear icon and your account, it will take you to the screen where it'll give you all the information about the company. And in there, you will know uh, what edition of QuickBooks Online you have. For example, here it says product version, QuickBooks Online Plus. So it's very clear that I actually have the right version. So if you are working on simple start or essentials, this is not going to work. So you have to make sure that you upgrade to that. The other option after we upgrade to QuickBooks Online Plus is we have to enable job costing. So job costing basically means that we're going to assign cost expenses to customers. And also we want to make them billable because the example I'm going to make, it's about making expenses to customers billable straight from online banking. So those two options are going to be here under billable, uh, I'm sorry, bills and expenses. I'll click on that and then I'll put a check mark on track expenses by customer and then put a check mark on uh, mark expenses and items billable. So as long as I have both of these options are checked, I'm good to go. Now this piece about making it one item or multiple items, we're going to skip that for now. As long as we have these two checkboxes here on the track expenses by customer and make them billable, I should be good to go. So now I have job costing enabled in QuickBooks Online and then I'm going to click on transactions, which is where I go to my online banking or my bank feeds and I'm going to click on banking. And all the downloaded transactions are going to show up here. So as I add any of these transactions to the register, uh, whether or not they're automatically categorized or not, that, that part doesn't really matter. So whether you're actually putting the vendor's name or the expense account or if it's being cut by the rules, that doesn't change what I'm about to show you. So what I'm going to show you is this expense is supposed to be reimbursable. So I'm going to make it billable. So I'm going to hit the little checkbox there that says billable. And I'm also going to hit the drop down and select my customer, Hector Garcia. And then I'm going to go down here where it says bank detail. And right next to it, it says add attachment. So right there, it says add attachment. I'm going to click on that. And that's what they added. They added the ability to add the attachments straight from there. So that's actually a really, really neat uh, option. So let me go to my desktop where I have uh, a receipt. And then I'm going to go ahead and just attach one of the receipts I have here and then I'll hit open and then you see that the attachment is being uh, uploaded in there and when you see that 100% uploaded it's going to have a link so I can just click on it and I can see what the invoice looks like uh, or in this case the receipt looks like and that means that I'm basically attaching that document to the transaction from the bank feeds or downloaded transactions menu so I'm going to go ahead and click on add and then let's say in the future, I'm going to go ahead and invoice my customer. So I'm going to go into the customers here and, um, and invoice Hector Garcia. So I'm going to go to create invoice. And then uh, because the expense that we did earlier was assigned to the customer and also job costed, you can see it right there where it says billable expenses. So I can just click on add. And then the minute I click on add, I have to scroll down and notice that any attachments I had uh, with that expense uh, that I that I had entered through the bank feeds, I can actually attach those as well. So then when I turn around and invoice my client and I send this via email, um, and I put the email address, that attachment is going to be part of the email. And I also really like a, a new shortcut um, down here in the or in the home page here on the right side where all the bank accounts are here where it says registers. If I click on that icon, now I can click on my bank account, my credit card, whichever one I want, and it will take me straight into the bank register. Now, that seems like a little thing, but it is kind of a big deal because uh, before that shortcut, and if you happen to be in the homepage, the only other way to get to the bank register is by clicking on transactions, banking, and then having to go here on the right side and click go to register. So it's sort of a two-step process or clicking on the gearbox and chart of accounts and then looking for the actual account, which in this case is the credit card, and then clicking on view register. That was the only two ways to get into the bank register. So I really like that if I happen to be in the home page, which is a very common place that I work in, I can just click real quick there, registers, registers and credit card. 